whether you are revising maths for your mock, for an end of topic test, or for your actual exam, there are a few things that you can do that will really, really help you revise. So this is how to revise maths. Step one, get everything that you need before you start. Do not start and then one downstairs because you've forgotten your calculator or your cup of coffee. Either put your phone face down or use an app like this to time your session. 25 minutes is pretty good. Work out which bits you know and which bits you don't know. You can use these which are free on my website and you can go through and say the first one is four to seven months through the exam yep i'm pretty good at using a compass and a ruler uh, bit medium with angles not very sure about that angles and parallel line oh not very sure about angles triangles no don't know triangles at all squares and rectangles yeah pretty good with squares and rectangles so the first thing is work out what you know and where the gaps are and which bits we're going to focus our revision on today. And then go and fill in that gap. I have loads of videos like this and along here the easy questions, the medium questions and the hard questions and you can just skip through to the different questions and watch them. If you're confident start with the hard questions. If you're not confident, start with the easy questions and then move back and forward as you like. There is no one watching you do this. So do not feel embarrassed if you start with the easy questions because you really don't get it. This is not like being in class where your teachers are there judging you or your friends are there judging you. There is no one there to judge you. This is supposed to be low pressure. If you don't get something, rewind the video and watch it again. That is okay. What would be really nice is if you tried to get all the answers. So here this is, pause the video and try and work out the answers and then watch, see if you get the answers the same as on the video. Make notes, try and get the answers and then skip through to the hard. Try a few of those ones. See if you can do it. These are harder, they have different methods in. But if you can do these ones, brilliant. If you can't, well that's okay, just go back to the medium ones. After you've watched the video and filled in the gap, try a few actual questions. There are loads for you to do in my workbook. Again, there are easy questions and loads of them. Medium questions where things get a little bit harder and then hard questions but there is no rule to say that you have to go through this in order you could start doing the hard questions and then realize well actually they're a little bit hard for you and what you want to do is to go back and try a few of the easy questions or a few of the medium questions to warm yourself up just because there are 25 questions doesn't mean you have to do all of them you could do three questions from each section this is your revision. You go at your pace and do it as much or as little as you want to. And then try a few more questions. The more questions you can do, the better. We need to get as many done as possible. And then work out which bits you got right and which bits you got wrong. And then after you've done a load of focus revision on one topic, it is important that you mix all of that up and do an exam paper. So I'm just going to find an exam paper question on the topic that I want to do. Here's one, and I'm going to do this question. And then I'm not just going to stop there. I'm going to keep going through the whole paper so that I get a mix of different topics. Everything you need to revise GCSE and A-level maths. Videos to teach you stuff, checklists to check you know stuff, practice questions for you to practice stuff, and then papers for you to revise it as well. Ouch!
This is why in some videos I have had explained scratches.